So I've created three short videos for you guys to explain can control properly so that you can get a really good handle on your can. If you can learn how to control your can properly over time, it will become a lot easier and you'll be spray painting like a pro in no time. So in talking about can control today, we are going to focus on wrist and body movements. So I'm currently working on this mural for Ray Self Storage on Gate City in Greensboro. It's a pretty long mural uh, and a couple of realism sections here that are going to be 3D to look like storage units. Anyway, so let's talk about the wrist movement. If you're moving your wrist a lot like so, that's not what you should do. Okay, so you need to actually keep your wrist straight with your arm. By keeping your wrist straight, you can actually get much more even coverage. As you can see here, I'm keeping my wrist nice and straight. I know it's kind of hard to see. I kind of cropped that out. Sorry, guys. I'm still getting used to this whole GoPro thing. Anyway, um, yeah, if you're moving your wrist uh, for any particular reason, you're actually wasting paint. Uh, you're actually spraying some into the air. You're going to get uneven sprays so as you can see i am carefully using a fat cap to kind of cover in these large areas of this washing machine that i'm painting another important thing to note when using a fat cap especially try not to paint too much in one particular area if you miss a spot just go back over it a little while later if you go over the same spot too many times when the paint is still wet it's going to dry weird uh as in you're definitely going to want to avoid that so just try to cover all the surfaces that you need to first, let it dry for a little bit, and then go over it again. So I'm just making my movements here. I'm also using my body, and I'm gonna show you that here again in a second, but you should mainly your shoulder and your body to create the movements rather than your wrist. Okay, so you can use your wrist sometimes when you're working on particular pieces that require kind of like a dusty layers, which I will show you another time. All right, so the body movements you make will actually make a huge difference in your painting. So you see I'm in this squat kind of position. Uh, your legs will build up the muscles over time, believe me. Um, I have much stronger thighs now, which is really kind of great. Um, anyway, so yeah, just squat. And so make sure that you're parallel to the wall and squat and follow the paint with your body. And that will definitely help you make much straighter, smoother marks and lines. So you can kind of watch me here to kind of see what I do to kind of get a feel for what I mean. <laughs> So when creating straight lines with moving your body and trying not to move your wrist at the same time, it's also a good idea to kind of trace the area that you're going to paint first. So you can see me kind of trace, air trace this line. So I'm not actually spraying. I kind of trace where I'm going to spray before I spray and then I spray the line. And that will definitely help you create much smoother lines overall. So say you have one particular line you want to paint, just kind of air spray it, air paint it, as I call it, air painting. It's like, you know, air drums or whatever. Anyway, so yeah, air paint it and then paint over it again with actual paint and you will get much more accurate lines. So here you can watch me air paint and then I paint my line. It came out nice and straight. Doesn't always come out straight, but it's okay, it's paint. You can fix it. Uh, practice makes perfect, guys, I promise. So again, with the body movements, if you keep your feet kind of parallel to the wall and you kind of move your body and your shoulder, you're able to get much straighter lines. So I really hope this demonstration kind of helps you guys figure out how to use your body movements and your shoulder 
and keeping your wrist straight to have better can control. If you have any questions, please put those in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So here's the progress I made today. Still working on it, but it's getting there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. And also be sure to click subscribe if you haven't already. I have many more videos coming up for you. Uh, our next video is going to be Can Control Part 3, and that is going to drop tomorrow. So also click that notification bell so you can be notified exactly when I drop that video. I hope everyone has a fantastic day. Remember to stay peaceful as a calm mind is a creative mind. Now go get inspired. Be an influence and make something beautiful today.